Hey guys, today we picked up the LG OLED 65B7 from Costco. We're going to do a little unboxing, setup, and give you a little demonstration. Hope you guys enjoy this. Start off, let's cut these straps. Top of the box. This is the rear of the panel. Right here we have the stand. We're going to use this initially while we try it out and then eventually mount it if we're active with the TV. Here you're going to have your, your remote and manuals. Next, take the top of the box, lay it in front of your television. So pick up your TV, box and all, and you're going to gently lay it down. Just support it. You pull the cardboard in the bottom. And just slide it back into the box. Just remove the protective cover from the rear. On the rear of the TV, there's two little clips. You can remove this cover door by pressing in those clips, pulling it up, placing it aside. There'll be four Phillips head screws. Remove those. That is what's going to hold your stand bracket in place. Place those aside. Once those are removed, you can move your stand into place. Now you're going to take your stand. There's going to be two little clips. Those are going to insert into these two little holes to hold it in place. Next, place your four screws in these small holes. And go ahead and tighten these down. Now take the cover. Place the clips on the top, and snap it down. So you're going to grab the TV, flip it upward. So grab the bottom, pick it up. In our case, we just got to flip it around. And place it in the spot where you would like it. You can remove the protective cover. Rear of the TV, left hand side if you're looking from the back. Power cord is taped in the place. Let's remove that tape. And then remove the power cord from the plastic wrapping. In my case, this is going to be plugged into a Monster HTS 5100. On the rear, I'm going to plug it into HDMI 2 with ARC. This is the source out from my receiver. On the rear of the TV, I'm going to plug in the optical digital audio out, which is going to go back to my receiver for any of the apps that we'll be natively using on the TV, such as Netflix for 4K. Now we're going to install the batteries in the new remote. It comes with two double A's. Move the remote. Move the plastic protective covering, peel it off. In the rear, just going to push right here where it says push, open up that cover, and put in your two AA batteries, place that over, align it, snap it back into place, and you're ready to start up your TV. After plugging the TV, go ahead and power it on, on your remote. Click this power button right here. This should have WebOS 3.5 already pre-installed. Please press the OK wheel button on your remote. <laughs> Confirm your location and language settings. Navigate with left, right, up, down and OK button on the remote. English. Language English. Time zone select. Check. Pick New York, New York. City. Check. Time zone New York. LG TV provides audio guidance for the visually impaired. After audio guidance is turned off, you can use the pointer of magic remote. Do you want to turn off audio guidance? No, yes. Yes. Button. 
All right, we just turned off the audio, got our time zone set up, and set it up for English. This is our home. I'm going to set up Wi-Fi. After you type in your wireless network password, go ahead and click OK. The basic setup should be complete now. Go ahead and agree to the user agreements. Currently I'm going to skip this because I don't have the cable plugged in. I'm going to select Netflix on the remote. Looks like I have to update it before I can use it. I'm going to watch Netflix. Right now, this is the out of the box calibration. I have not calibrated it just yet. Enter in your account information and log into Netflix. After logging into Netflix, agree to the terms of service. In our case, we don't currently subscribe to Netflix Ultra HD because we had a Sharp Aquos 52 inch that was an old CCFL LCD. So we're going 52 to a 65 OLED. So we are going to upgrade for two extra bucks a month. So depending on the content, you'll see the Ultra HD 4K. Dolby Vision, if it says Vision. Or just HD if it's 1080p. Since I don't have licenses to actually display this content, I can't play it, but at least you can get a visual of what the TV looks like set up different content available, Netflix, and how it would look on your TV. Hopefully you found this unboxing and TV setup helpful. Uh, so far, so good. This looks quite amazing compared to the previous 52-inch that we had. Uh, we had tons of banding, uh, light bleed, blooming, pretty much anything that's bad with a traditional LCD, we've had it. So our only concern is that this TV was not big enough for the room that we're in. We're in a 22 by like 23 foot room. So we were looking at like a 75 inch option. Unfortunately, the 77 inch OLED from LG is a little too pricey at 15 grand. So we figured we'd give the 65 a shot, try it out for a month or so, and determine if it suits our needs or if we need to upgrade to a 75 inch TV. Hopefully I'll have uh, more reviews for you guys later on. But for the time being, enjoy this unboxing and setup. If you like this video please like and subscribe uh, and feel free to leave a comment below appreciate it